All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here at the Milton County Sportsman's Association, and today we are sitting here testing out this guy right here. This is a sequence of events, and I've got a tabletop review, and I'm actually doing this kind of in a backwards mode, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna do it and recreate the whole thing and, and what I call reverse engineer. Uh, basically, what I have is a Legion X5, all right? Uh, accompanied with the Army Craft barrel, all right? That's threaded and fitted with the Army Craft muzzle brake, as you can see here, along with their well, let's just say there's their tuning kit, which includes three or four springs. I happen to have four. Uh, this is the 11 pound spring. The nice thing about an 11 pound spring is that I can shoot regular ammo through this and I don't have to punch out plus plus P or anything else like that. So it's really cool. Uh, and today I'm running uh, just a regular old 124 grain round nose. My boys over there at Callaway Ballistics. Thanks guys. Uh, so what we're doing, I am just demonstrating this thing. I do have a camera behind me. We've got a little bit of a little target down here in the front. But the nice thing is, is you will see, and I got some slow-mo video I'm gonna show you, comparing some other pistols and what we have. So this is really, really nice. Good Lord Almighty. You see that, folks? But. Almost got away. When you shoot open, you're allowed to use a muzzle brake. So why not try to take advantage of a lighter spring, the muzzle brake, and the ability to hit the targets faster? I, I know that some people don't really care. And I'm going to demonstrate to you in here in a second because I do have uh, an X5, this regular setup uh, with the Psy Lee optics and the Liffrey Army, uh, what do you call it, cutout upper slide. <laughs> but anyway. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the cat's Meow. Let's go ahead and load those other ones up and get started. Here we go. Stand by. All right. So here we are. This is a little piece that I put together that's got the Siley uh, enclosed optic. We'll go ahead and do a report on that in a little bit. Uh, this is Leaf Free Armory. This is their skeletonized upper with the SIG X5 lower. So what we're looking for, and it's just a regular old uh, five inch barrel in here, but what we are looking for is the muzzle flip. And I want to see some comparison. When we get done with this, I got a uh, Wilson Combat. Uh, P320 sent to me by Ethan Manning. Ethan, I hope you're watching this. I hope you're good. I hope your dad's doing all right. But uh, having zeroed this optic, we have to do a review on this thing. This is a really, really nice optic. So let's take a look at it and see how the muzzle brake is. Well, it's, it's more felt recoil. The muzzle flip, I think, is a little bit more. You guys tell me. We are going to do a extreme slow-mo, hopefully, if it all works out at the end of this video. Let's grab that P320 and see how it compares. All right, stand by. Okay, this is a P320. Uh, good gun, uh, very expensive for a custom module, grip module. Uh, I believe this is just, uh, I took the lower, uh, the, mod, the trigger module out of this and put in that other one because I liked it better and just put the regular one in here. The uh, Army Craft. We do have the trigger and their spring kit, and we're gonna go ahead and change that out in the X5 Legion. Hopefully we're staying in focus here. So we're uh, having some fun with the X5 Legion. Uh, we're gonna change out that trigger assembly in there. So we have the adjusted springers, return, reset. You have an adjustment for your uh, take up as well as your over travel. So over travel and take up and really whatever you know what i'm talking about we'll get to that when we're actually doing the trigger review but anyway here we go let's just see how this guy looks really i think i might start shooting like this unless i'm traveling and i'll stick it down in there and the turtle so anyway that's it let me go back and get this thing and we'll talk about it a little bit more stand by Okay, so here we are. You've got the pistol here. Now these are, if you can see that, those are the springs. 
Um, one of the things I do like is the 11 pound spring simply because I can run factory ammo and I don't have to worry about blowing up the gun. Right, Pops? Uh, we don't really want to do that. Open guns are built to run. We're not really worried about making any kind of power factor, if that makes sense. What that means is that your bullet has to be a certain weight and has to travel such a speed. If you're running nine millimeter, a lot of the guys in USPSA will run them, but they're gonna be hot. And literally when you're standing side by side with somebody who's running an open gun, you're gonna know it and you're gonna feel it. This guy's a really smooth shooter. Look at that thing. Isn't it pretty? Uh, I hope, and as you're watching this, I hope that that, uh, what do you call it? The slow motion uh, analysis came out so you were able to see it. But uh, I think I'm gonna build me a little frame so I can bring my steel targets out here and, and let go with some uh, pistol stuff. So anyway, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a short one. We're gonna do a tabletop reverse engineering video so you can see it um, on basically what we wanna do as far as the installation is concerned. Uh, it's a pretty cool video. I actually did it and didn't like it, so we're gonna do it again. So KB32. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Because freedom comes in a couple of different style springs. Uh, yeah. And we'll go over the springs on that tabletop. It's going to be a lot of fun. Y'all be good. I am out of here in the good words of that great guy called the Real Cobra Burnout. Boom. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.